is when I start talking about the movie because we decided to put a part of that in the movie. So, T. Rock, take one. Exactly. <laughs> well, let her rip, guys. Is that rolling? Yeah. Um, I feel like you you tell me if it's wrong. I feel like the first place we should probably start is, is your early stage, at least DJing. Or being an MC. You were DJ first. Well, before all of that, remember, I was a B-boy. I mean, that's how I first started. Wasn't called breakdancing back then. It was called B-boy. So I started out as a B-boy actually watching old black and white movies uh, that had dancers used had with fancy footwork and um, very young Michael Jackson those are the people that had me interested in what we call b-boying back in the days. And um, I would, we would have, uh, I'm just gonna say break dancing for now, break dance battles um, in the streets. Also in my junior high school, which was IS-29, and also in my high school, which was Adelaide E. Stevenson in the Bronx. Um, I remember this, I'm, I'm gonna take it back. I lived on Plimpton Avenue in the Bronx, which was the west side of the Bronx. Let's just call it the cool Herc side of the Bronx. And there was a B-boy named Vincent Thompson, no colorful name, another B-boy named Sasa. And um, these are the, the B-boys that I looked up to at that time and I wanted to be like them. So I would practice my moves in the house, get slapped around by my mom for knocking over the chairs. <laughs> not, not literally slapped around. Um, um, and I actually were in a couple of b-boy battles. After a while, I said, I wanna try something else. Uh, I was, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of television. So I will always watch these shows and these older shows from the 50s and 60s. And one actor, comedian actor that stood out was Danny Kay. Danny Kay had a way with words. He would put a sentence in rhyme form. If you, if you, if the actor would ask Danny Kay a question about water, Danny Kay would say a cup of water, water, I could slaughter a cup of water and water and do, do rhythm and rhyme like that. And that interested me a lot. So I wanted to be like Danny Kay. And, um, a, I'd say a couple of years later comes Muhammad Ali. Well, Muhammad Ali had the slower, hit, you know, pace of, of rhyming. So I'm, wow, I had to be, this had to be somewhere around 70, about 77, I'd say around 76, 77, when I first started writing my first raps. Now, I also would attend what they call block parties and outdoor, outdoor parties where someone would put speakers outside their window on the sidewalk and play music that way, in which I did the same thing. Um, on my side, of, my side of the Bronx, which was 174th Street and Featherbed Lane, was the side where Cool Herc, that's where Cool Herc lived. And, um, Cedric, yeah, Cedric. Well, I was, I was further up. There, there was only a, uh, uh, some steps that separated my area from, from uh, you had Undercliff and you had Sedgwick and University Avenue. I was one, I was one block off University Avenue. Now, um, I would go to the Cool Herc parties and they, they had a, in Cool Herc's building, there was a, a, a center, a community room where his sister, I believe it was his sister, would, would have parties there. Now, I'm gonna sway away from Cool Herc a little bit. There was another DJ whose name was Blackjack. Now, DJ Blackjack, he would also DJ in his, in his building, in his basement and community centers, and I would go see him. Now, even though I was, you know, I, I was an MC at that time, I never, Never um, got on Herc set, but I would get on Blackjack's set. And, you know, back then it was MCing, we didn't call it rap. Um, 
I remember McCombs Road, no, Jerome Avenue and McCombs, there was a park out there and Cool Herc was giving a block party out there. Blackjack had called me and told me that Herc was going to let him DJ on his system. Now, Herc, really, I, when, I went, when I went to see Herc, I really never saw anybody else on his system aside him and his, and his, uh, his group. Um, Blackjack was kind of nervous, you know, because Cool Herc had this monster system, and Herc and Blackjack is you right, and he and you know, and he and Blackjack is used to, you know, just some semi-large speakers and you know, regular turntables. So I said, "Listen, I'm gonna go there," and I remember when Blackjack came on, he played a few break beats, in which I'm a break beat collector myself. I'll get into that in a minute. And I remember having a little circle, and I and I remember b dancing, battling to Black Jack's um, set when he was DJing. Um, this further gave me that, you know, that bug to to really take this to the next step. 